since 2009, and this is always kind of interesting because I'm in Old Montreal right now, um, actually just across from the Basilica of Notre Dame, which is the st stunning Gothic Revival Church, most of the time, one of the key landmarks of Old Montreal. And there's a real estate office here. I just wanted to have a, a little look here at some of the real estate listings. Apartment, one room, one bedroom for 1.875 million in Old Montreal. Here's another one. Apartment, eight rooms, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1.3 million dollars. Uh, here's another apartment built in 1866, 615,000. Six rooms, three bedrooms, one bedroom. Uh, one bathroom, one powder room. Here's some of the other older buildings. Apartment built in 2005, five rooms, one bedroom, one bathroom, one powder room. What's the price? 560000 Here's another one. The apartment was built in 2001, obviously in an old building. Eight rooms, two bedrooms, one bathroom, one powder room. So you can see, old Montreal has definitely become a very, very hip and, and cool place to live. And the prices, as you can tell, are not inexpensive. A lot of these old buildings here used to be warehouses when the city was a major port city. Lots of the merchandise and the goods that were imported into Canada were stored here originally. And many of these warehouses didn't really have much use during the um, 20th century when the city experienced some decline, especially after the opening of the St. Lawrence Seaway. And um, the area became run down and uh, rejuvenated again from the 1990s onwards when it became a really popular destination. Not just with tourists, but with the locals as well. A great place to live. Now here I'm approaching Place Jacques Cartier. No, I'm lying to you. This is Place d'Armes, which is one of uh, Old Montreal's most significant public squares. And uh, used to be a parade ground of the military, hence the name Place d'Armes. And uh, let me cross, see there's a big motel building here in the corner, and I think they are renovating the statue that is located in the middle of Place Dame. Here's a look back up on the uh, Rue Notre Dame. you a look at the facade of Notre Dame Basilica. I'm going to head a little bit further back so you can see the outdoor stores, really old stores selling anything from jams to souvenirs and uh, painted uh, plates as souvenirs to products made from maple syrup. And here is the facade of the Basilica of Notre Dame, one of uh, Montreal's most stunning churches, built from, I think, 1829 onwards in the Gothic Revival style. As you can see, obviously, very, very popular outdoor venue. People relaxing, reading, getting together, meeting place. This uh, street down in this area, Saint-Jacques, is the former equivalent of Wall Street in Montreal, where all the bank buildings used to be located. You can see here lots of buildings from the uh, early 20th century here in this direction. Here is the Bank of Montreal high-rise tower. And I think this is the original Bank of Montreal building, very neoclassical. And the facade on this side has um, an Art Deco building right here. And this is um, this building here, I think, is from the late 1800s, 1880s or so, in brown sandstone. And then again, let me go over on this side. 
and catch a glimpse of the facade of the Basilica of Notre Dame in Montreal. Beautiful square.